Have you ever thought about turning your Lazy Susan into a stunning piece of functional art? Well, today I'm pour painting on a Lazy Susan. I can't wait for you to see it. This design that I'm going to create on the Lazy Susan is going to be unlike anything else in your decor, in your home, that anyone has ever seen before. So mesmerizing, so beautiful. I can't wait to get you down on the spinner to show you guys how I create it. So let me get you down and we'll get busy. Hello guys and welcome to my art channel. I have been painting away today and I had bought a color to go in a color called Cheerful. It's this yellow. So I was doing my 8x8 uh, trivets and they turned out really well. So I'm going to go ahead and do a Lazy Susan with the same colors. I have prepped the Lazy Susan by varnishing it with some triple thick varnish. And I have taped off the back. I've stopped the thing that lets it move. I've stopped that, I've taped it down. And I'm going to put this on my spinner here. And we're just gonna give this a go. So the color is cheerful. It's a yellow. This is the card for the color. You can see that, SW6903, cheerful. And I'm just going to get started here. We are using, and I will put all of these in the description. We're using Show Pony by TLP. We're using Hustle by TLP. We're using Rose Quartz. It's a Pink Interference by TLP. I also have Zeus by TLP. Grunge by TLP. And Crescendo by TLP. So all the colors are TLPs. And I have a titanium white and lint black cell activator. So. Now, my doors are open, I'm in my studio, my husband is mowing, so there may be some noises. Hopefully we can edit that out from the video, but um, let's go. I haven't done this on a Lazy Susan yet. It's my first try at using this color today, and it is so pretty. And with spring time here, what better time than now to use it, right? So here we go. I'm just gonna spin this out. Oh, plenty of, plenty of paint. This is gonna be so pretty. My husband's been on me about using this color. He's like, you gotta use the yellow, you gotta use the yellow. So I did the eight by eights and I was like, oh, yep, I need to have something to match them. So, yep, that looks good. I spin most of the paint off uh, the top. I know I probably use too much, but this is the way I do it and it works for me. I put a little bit of paint under where I'm gonna be blooming just because I have thinned this down a whole lot, but I don't want it thick everywhere else. I just want it thick where I'm gonna be blowing with my blow dryer. This is the Hustle. It is like a neon pink. I have like no rhyme or reason where I put the paints. I just kind of border them around the two colors when they come together. So that was the Hustle. Here's the Show Pony. This is super shiny, super shimmery. So it kind of come around that way a little bit. It's going to come all together anyway. Um, this crescendo is really, really pretty color. And it is super, super shiny. Okay. I have the grunge. The grunge, the Zeus, and the rose quartz, I'm just going to kind of sprinkle over the tops. Not a whole lot. Just the rose quartz. and the Zeus. All right, now I'm going to do the black cell activator, then the white on top. All right, I am using my, the world's smallest blower, and I'm using my large attachment that I have. I have three different attachments I got from Tracy Reed Designs Art. I will also link her in the description box. I probably will put a thing up here in a little bit for you to go to her Etsy store to buy them, but this one's just about had it. I have another one in the drawer. But yeah, I take it off first and just use the blower part to go down into the paint, and then I put this on to kind of go around, so. Let's do it. So I hope you guys are well. I'm really enjoying the split base modified blooms on these eight by eight cutting boards and the Lazy Susans. I want to again thank Louise McKay for the mentorship and the teaching for me to be able to do this because I'm just enamored by this uh, technique. Charmin Khan as well, she taught me how to do the modified blooms. So uh, thank you Charmin. I will tag both of you in this video in the description box and I will put their links to their channels. So if you have never heard from them, please go check them out. And while you're here, leave me a comment. 
let me know where you guys are watching from and what you enjoy seeing on my channel. I'm trying to grow my channel this year, so I'd appreciate it. Okay guys, I'm going to spin this. I do not spin it once I start the embellishments, but I do spin it beforehand. I'm just gonna spin it so that it kind of moves these out a little bit. Oh, finger on it. And it's not gonna be hard, pretty easy. I don't wanna like disrupt it a whole lot. It's pretty, it's gonna be very sparkly. Today is the first day that it's actually been really, really nice outside. This is super pretty. It's very springy, and uh, that's kind of what I was going for, so. One more spin, and then I'm done spinning. i get this, try to come over the edge. It's gonna work that time. And then I'm just gonna start embellishing. I have just a little tool here that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Um, it has like a little, uh, tip on it. It's going to use it. Let's wait for the motorcycle to go by. We're going to bring some of this color down here into the white. Um, I just kind of uh, do my little swirls through the middle of the blooms coming together. Oh, it's going to be pretty. Here we go. Bring this one through too. Super pretty already. Don't have to do very much modifying to these. It just comes alive, doesn't it? Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, it is super pretty. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I really like it. Um, it's done for me. Will you guys let me know what you think? I'm going to put it on my table and I will uh, give you a kind of a wet result. All right, let me get you guys uh, over to the other table. Let's get it off this table. Okay, here is the wet result, guys. Wow. Sorry about the mowers. Love this. Let me know what you think, guys. Uh, can't wait to show you guys uh, the finished result when it's resined. Uh, but wow, it's super pretty. Let's see if we can get some of that shimmer. Yeah, there it is. See that shimmer? Sorry about the mower, guys. All right. So thank you guys for being here. I'm so sorry that I do not have a dry flyover for you guys. These things fly off the shelf. Literally fly off the shelf before I even get them resined. So I did do a video. I'm going to link it here and you can click on that video so that you can see another color combination and see why they just sell so fast. So until next time. Thanks guys. See you then. <laughs>